Hello, dear friends. This is Ewell Humphreys. Glad you tuned in on me. I want to speak to you briefly on a short message that I've entitled, You Are Delivered. We are delivered. We need deliverance. When we're born in this world, we're born in a dark and sinful world. And we stand before God as those who have disobeyed His Word and are sinners, all of us. There is none righteous. No, not one. So we need deliverance. And the Lord has delivered us out of darkness into His marvelous light. Over in the book of Acts in the seventh chapter, uh, Stephen is preaching to the people and he's talking about how God blessed Israel. And uh, he said that, that uh, <clears throat> the Lord spoke to Moses at the burning bush. And he said, I have seen the affliction of my people in Egypt. I have heard their groanings, and I have come down to deliver them. And I will send you to Egypt. So here the Lord is speaking to Moses and he said, I have seen the affliction of my people. I've heard their groaning and their prayers and I've come down to deliver them. And so this is true with you and me today. The Lord God has looked down upon us. He has seen your troubles and your trials and he has seen what you've had to face. Sometimes seemingly alone with none to help you. And he said, I've come down to deliver you, and I am here to deliver. And God has delivered you. I want you to know if you're a Christian, God has delivered you. Over in the book of, uh, of uh, Psalms in the 32nd Psalm, the Bible says, The Lord has compassed me about, and I have needs to uh, compass me about with, with great blessings, and has given me the songs of deliverance. And we need to sing because we've been delivered. Hallelujah. Jesus came down at Bethlehem and was born of a man in a manger, born of a virgin, to redeem us from sin. And then he went to the cross. He came down to the cross. He came down to die, to give his life a ransom for many. And he went to that tree and there he was crucified for you and for me. And praise God, he rose again, a living Lord and a coming Savior. He's coming back. And so we need to believe in him, to trust him, to know that he's right. Over in Psalms in the 32nd chapter, it says, He has dealt bountifully with me and has compassed me about with songs of deliverance. Thank God for Calvary. <clears throat> Thank God. Thank God for Calvary. Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would he devote his sacred head for a sinner such as I? At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. <clears throat> what <clears throat> was it for crimes that I have done? He groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. But drops of grief can never repay the debt of love I owe. Here, Lord, I give myself away, tis all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away, it was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Praise God, I pray that you've been to that cross. 
and you've accepted him as your Savior and Lord of your life. And if you have, you have been delivered. If you haven't, pray a brief prayer with me right now, and then I'll finish this short message. <laughs> Just say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins on the cross at Calvary. I believe he rose again, and I believe he's coming back. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen. Pray a prayer like that. Find your good church. Worship God with his people, and you shall know what it means to be delivered. To be delivered. Over in the book of of Second uh, Timothy in the fourth chapter, Paul writes, and he says that my first answer, no man stood with me. All men forsook me. But the Lord stood by me, and he strengthened me. And he delivered me out of the mouth of the lion. Hallelujah. And he will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me into his kingdom, to whom be glory forever. Amen. And so Paul was delivered time and time again until finally it was time for him to finish his course and to go home to be with God forever. <clears throat> and so it is that God will deliver you. I'm talking to somebody right now, you need deliverance. You're facing a problem that you can't seem to find an answer to. There is no one around that has the answer, so you're looking up. You're trusting God. He's going to deliver you. You may not know exactly how, but He's going to do it. He will deliver you. Again, over in the book of Psalms, it says uh, in the uh, 34th chapter, it says, I cried unto the Lord, and He delivered me from all my fears. Maybe some of you right now are looking at something and it's making you fearful. I want you to know that if you call on the name of the Lord, He will deliver you from all your fears and give you a peace, a peace that passes understanding. In other words, you can't quite figure it all out, but you've got peace because you've left everything in His hands. And that's what it takes. Deliverance. He's come down to deliver. Over in Psalm 116, it says, The Lord has dealt bountifully with me and I shall rejoice in Him. He has delivered my soul from death, my t eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. He has delivered me. He has delivered my soul from death. Hallelujah. And I have life eternal. He has delivered my eyes from tears. Hallelujah. He has comforted me in my time of sorrow. And praise God, He's delivered my feet from falling. I'm going on. I'm keeping on going. I'll keep on keeping on. The Lord God is with me. And He is with me always. And so we need to tell others that the Lord saves and the Lord is real and the Lord is good and He loves you very much. God bless you, dear friend. May you be delivered and may you walk on with God because you found the victory. The Lord loves you very much, and I love you. God bless you now and always. In Jesus' name, amen.